President, this morning I mentioned the gratitude that all Americans feel for the part that Portuguese immigrants have and their descendants have played in building our nation. And tonight, I must tell you that I owe a personal debt of gratitude to Portugal for another reason. It was in 1542 that the Portuguese explorer João Cabrillo discovered California, the state that is closest to my heart. <laughs> President, this morning we had a chance to explore issues that concern us both. Our discussion about relations between our two countries, our common support for the NATO alliance, and our close consultations on Southern Africa demonstrate how much our nations share a firm commitment to freedom and peace. Americans esteem those who rise from humble beginnings to positions of national service. You and Mrs. Yanish have probably seen the Lincoln Memorial, the monument to a president who began life in a simple log cabin. In many ways, your own life parallels that of Lincoln. For you, too, began life in modest surroundings, then rose in the service of democracy to your nation's highest office. And Mr. President, we honor you for that achievement. You once stated your determination that the Portuguese people will have their democracy. Today, the Portuguese people do indeed have their democracy, and Portugal, fully committed to political and economic freedom, has taken its rightful place among the democracies of the West. As a full and active participant in the NATO alliance, Portugal has proven its willingness to help defend the Western community of nations, and the values for which that community stands. Portugal has thus earned a reputation as a staunch and reliable ally. The security relationship between our two countries has for many years been one of full cooperation and complete mutual respect. Our negotiations for a formal renewal of the security relationship are going well and I have every confidence that the new agreement will strengthen the security of the West and enhance Portugal's already vital role in the Atlantic Alliance. We in the United States understand the benefit of alliances between allies, and we intend to help Portugal meet its military and economic needs. This is a simple matter of amizade, of friendship. I didn't place the emphasis on the right syllable, but that's as close as I could get. <laughs> so in the spirit of that long and warm friendship between our two nations, Mr. Fr President, I propose a toast to you and to the Republic of Portugal. Senhor Presidente, Senhora Reagan, distintos convidados. President Reagan, Mrs. Reagan, distinguished guests. 
Encontros como este, entre amigos e entre aliados, são sempre oportunidades agradáveis de convívio, de melhor conhecimento e de maior compreensão. Gatherings like this among friends and allies always constitute pleasant social occasions to get to know and to understand each other better. São também ocasiões políticas de afirmação do nosso comum empenhamento democrático. They are also political occasions for affirming our common democratic commitment. Essa é de facto a mais forte razão do nosso fácil e natural entendimento. And this is in fact the strongest reason for our easy and natural mutual understanding. No passado, quando sob um regime ditatorial, Portugal poderia ser considerado um aliado incómodo. In the past, when Portugal lived under a dictatorial regime, it might have been considered an uncomfortable ally. Afastados durante décadas da vivência democrática, os portugueses conhecem bem a diferença entre os compromissos impostos e as posições livremente assumidas. Kept for decades apart from democratic life, the Portuguese are well aware of the difference that exists between imposed obligations and freely chosen positions. Hoje podemos afirmar a nossa presença na Aliança Atlântica e assumir nela todas as posições necessárias com a certeza de que essas são as posições apoiadas pelos portugueses. Today we can affirm our presence in the Atlantic Alliance and assume within it all the necessary positions with the certainty that these positions are supported by the Portuguese people. Por isso mesmo, no quadro da expressão da vontade dos portugueses, somos um aliado dos Estados Unidos responsável e exigente. For that reason, within the framework of the express will of the Portuguese people, we are a responsible ally of the United States with natural and justified expectations. As profundas ligações históricas e a existência de interesses comuns são agora reforçadas pela identidade existente entre os nossos regimes políticos de democracia pluralista. The deep historical bonds and existing common interests are now strengthened by the common identity of our pluralist democratic political systems. Os povos compreendem-se com mais facilidade e apoiam-se com mais determinação quando as suas instituições políticas têm modos de legitimidade e de ação semelhantes. Peoples understand each other more easily and support each other with greater determination when their political institutions have similar modes of action and similar legi legitimacy. Em nossa opinião, o mundo atual confirma que a política externa envolve as sociedades no seu conjunto. In our opinion, the world of today clearly confirms that foreign policy involves societies as a whole. Por isso se têm mostrado tão importantes a harmonia das decisões e a continuidade da ação política para que os objetivos realmente importantes sejam atingidos em condições de segurança, de apoio social e de reforço democrático. For this reason, the harmony of decisions and the continuity of political action have shown themselves to be of such importance in achieving truly consequential objectives in conditions of security, social support and the furtherance of democracy. Será natural para um português invocar a sua experiência recente de implantação de um regime democrático para sublinhar a importância das condições, condições sociais internas na segurança e permanência das alianças externas. It is only natural for a Portuguese to cite his recent experience of the establishment of a democratic regime in order to underline the importance of internal social conditions for the security and the permanence of external alliances. Por isso mesmo devo sublinhar a preocupação com que acompanha a evolução dos indicadores económicos, apontando para a necessidade de um esforço conjunto e determinado de reorganização neste setor vital das sociedades contemporâneas. And it is for this reason that I should like to stress the concern with which I follow the evolution of economic indicators which point to the need for a joint and determined effort to reorganize this vital sector of contemporary society. 
é uma exigência que se impõe a todos os que acreditam na superioridade do modelo democrático. And this is essential for all those who believe in the superiority of the democratic system. É, em nossa opinião, também uma condição de segurança não só de cada democracia, mas da própria Aliança Atlântica e das possibilidades de cooperação útil com várias regiões do mundo. In our view, it is also a necessary condition in order to ensure the security not only of each of the democracies but also of the Atlantic Alliance itself and for achieving useful cooperation with various regions of the world. Nas conversações que tivemos, Sr. Presidente, reforcei a minha certeza de que a sua qualidade estadista é um contributo essencial para o nosso empenhamento na paz e no reforço das sociedades democráticas, pois essas são as condições de continuidade de ação política e de harmonia decisões que iniciem uma nova era de desenvolvimento e de prosperidade. As a result of the talks that we have been holding, Mr. President, I am further strengthened in my conviction that your statesmanship, sir, is an essential contribution to our mutual commitment to peace and to the strengthening of democratic societies. For these are the necessary conditions for the continuity of political action and for harmony in the decision-making process which will lead to a new era of progress and prosperity. A firmeza na defesa dos valores democráticos e a determinação na garantia da sua segurança, que Vossa Excelência tem corajosamente assumido, são afirmações de coerência política que impõem a nossa admiração. Mr. President, you have the courage to show firmness in the defense of democratic values and determination in guaranteeing their security. And these are qualities which deserve our sincere admiration. É neste quadro que se justifica conjugar a nossa boa amizade com a nossa atitude de um aliado responsável e exigente. In this context, it is right that our close friendship should be seen together with our position as a responsible ally which has definite expectations. Na expressão real dos nossos interesses respectivos, apoiados na legitimidade democrática, encontraremos, estou certo, a complementaridade de meios e de vontades que formam os compromissos mútuos e as ações conjuntas. I'm sure that by truly expressing our respective interests based on democratic legitimacy, we are certain to be able to find ways in which our means and our wills can complement each other in such a way that we will lead to mutual commitments and to joint action. É este o desafio do nosso tempo, onde as incertezas da transição impõem a maior firmeza na afirmação e na defesa dos valores democráticos. This is the challenge of our day, when the uncertainties of changing times call for the greatest firmness in the affirmation and defense of democratic values. Minhas senhoras e meus senhores, permitam-me que vos convido, neste espírito de responsabilidade e de amizade, a fazer um brinde em honra do Presidente e da Sra. Reagan, a quem desejo as maiores felicidades e, ainda, por seu intermédio, endereçar a todos os americanos os nossos votos de prosperidade e de felicidade. Ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you, in this spirit of responsibility and friendship, to join me in a toast to President and Mrs. Reagan, to whom I wish the greatest happiness and through whom I address to all Americans our best wishes for happiness and prosperity.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sergio Franchi. out of a dream You are too wonderful to be what you see Could there be eyes like yours Could there be lips like yours Could there be smiles like yours Honest and true You stepped out of a cloud I want to take you away, away from the crowd And I have you all to myself, alone and apart Out of a dream, safe in my heart You stepped out of a dream you are too wonderful to be what you see. Could there be eyes like yours? And could there be two lips like yours? Could there be smiles like yours? Honest and true. You, you stepped out of a cloud. I want to take you away. Away from the crowd And have you all to myself Alone and apart Out of a dream Safe in my heart Out of a dream Safe in my heart Out of a dream Safe in my heart Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A bit too cold, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we all suffered a little bit. You made it warm. Sergio Franchi. The song is ended, but the melody lingers on. Thank you. <laughs> we, you have entertained so many and so many audiences, but I think I'm safe in saying, on behalf of all these lovely people, no audience has ever enjoyed you more. Thank you very much. We're so grateful to you. Still dreaming. Thank you and thank this Marine Orchestra of ours. Thank you very much. That's it. Well, we're most grateful to you. Thank you very much. Anytime.